The environmentalist Robert Swan saw the real cancer in our global climate problem when he said, "The greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it." I am here to say that a few of my classmates and I decided that we would rather stand and fight for our future than wait for someone else to come along to save us. That's why we implemented a sorting and composting program, so that the food waste at our school would never end up in a landfill again. The sorting program separates our food waste from our trash, and that food waste is then repurposed. Instead of rotting in landfills and releasing methane, which, by the way, is 80 times more harmful to our environment than carbon dioxide. The food waste is composted into soil that we can use as fertilizer to grow food, thereby closing the loop. Although the program began in the middle school, it has since been expanded to the elementary and high school divisions. We estimate that we will be able to divert about 16,000 pounds of food waste per year school-wide. This equates to about 380 pounds of methane. Per year, that will never see the light of day. My greatest hope is that we can use the sorting and composting program that we've developed as a proof of concept to expand to all schools in California. It is only then can we make meaningful reductions of methane emissions. I've done the math, and the numbers are staggering. If every school in California diverted their food waste from the landfill, either by composting it on site or sending it to a commercial composter, California alone would stop 2.7 million pounds of methane from reaching our atmosphere. That's equivalent to charging 3.7 billion smartphones. The process is so easy; anyone can do it. We are only children, and yet we know that fighting climate change is the most unselfish act, for a very selfish reason. To keep this planet alive, because after all, we don't have another planet to go to. America has always been a beacon of hope and freedom for countless people across the world. Now is the time for us to take a leadership role in the fight against climate change, because, for all of our differences, we are all in this together, as one people on one earth.